lots of fun here. 49 years of the poor man's Derby Eve party. It came back last year after a hiatus from the pandemic, and they have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years for several local charities. It's not Derby Eve in Lexington without the poor man's Harlan County Derby Eve party. So many people have said, oh, I've been going to the poor man's Derby Eve party for years, and I've known about this for 30 years. An evening of benefiting local charities that for 49 years now has made a difference. The K Club, the UK Varsity Letter Association, and the Fisher House, which works with veterans benefiting from this year's fundraising. This really allows us, you know, allows really the whole community to come forward and support the military and veteran families that are right here. We've done so much for our country. For the K Club, the money will help them with their disaster relief fund, which helps alumni after disasters. They also jump in to help after disasters in Kentucky, like last summer's flooding. A group of lettermen went out into Kentucky and parts of Kentucky that needed um, relief and actually helped rebuild homes. Um, and so it's not just for, um, it's not just about helping us, we also help the community. The Fisher House is a place for veterans to stay when getting treatment at the local VA. It reduces the burden on those families, high cost of hotels, and especially a weekend like this with so much happening, it means a lot to those veterans to be able to stay for free right next to the VA. An evening that's anything but a poor time and benefiting two great causes. And there are other Derby events happening over at Keeneland this weekend. Derby Day at Keeneland is a tradition. The track calls it a community celebration in the bluegrass. Tailgating on the hill will also be open where big screens will be set up and some food trucks as well. And drive through bedding will be open from 730 tomorrow morning until 658, which is just a few minutes before the Derby runs. And that is behind Keeneland's Entertainment Center.